So now let's do everything we've done up to this point uh, just in a much, much easier way. So I'm going to go through here and we're going to delete these shoulder pads. Now we've got our demo soldier sitting here. Let's just append or insert a sphere. We're going to take this sphere, we're going to hold down Control Shift, we're going to use Trim Curve, we're just going to slice this back end off here, and we're going to use this as a shoulder pad mesh. We're going to turn on X Symmetry. In fact, let's go ahead and go into our geometry here. Turn on Dynamesh, just turn off Blur. So now we've got a Dynamesh mesh in here. We can go ahead and start sculpting if we want to and be like, okay. Go in here with our clay brush. Maybe hold down Control Shift. Go in here to our clip curve. Redynamesh. Go in here to our move brush. So we're starting to sculpt a shoulder pad, but we, of course we don't know what it's going to look like on his actual shoulder. So this time what we're going to do, instead of going through the manual method, let's speed this up a little bit. Now that we know how Nanomesh works, we can go in here and speed it up by going into a macro. So we're going to take our macro menu, we can double click this little divider over here. Let's go ahead and take our macro menu, take that white dot, drag it over here, open up your macros, and in ZBrush 2021 you're going to see Create Instant Subtool. So now we have our guy sitting in here, we have a bunch of different subtools in here. We're sculpting on this shoulder pad, and then now we want to place the shoulder pad and work on it symmetrically while it's placed. So we're going to immediately go up here to this macro, and we're going to, you know, snap your camera to the front. If you need to, you can like rotate this around however you'd like. As long as you're snapped to the front here, we can now go in here to create instance subtool. That's going to run some information in the background, and now it's going to say position the nano mesh poly to the ideal location, and then you can control drag out to duplicate uh, this mesh. Then when you click Active Mesh and Nano Mesh, you're ready to modify it. So what that means is, just tap off here. Uh, if we go out of solo mode here, you're going to see we have our original skull here, and then we have a poly mesh plane here that looks like it's our original skull. However, if we go down here to Nano Mesh, you're going to see it's actually, if we turn on Show Placement, it's actually a plane. We can't sculpt on this geometry because it's just a plane with an instance on it. The cool thing about that. If we turn off show placement, we just follow those instructions. We can just hit W. We can move this this plane over here, and we can say, you know what? Let's move this into place on our shoulder pad, where our shoulder pad's going to go. And again, if we turn on show placement, you're going to see there's that plane. Now, if we want a shoulder pad on the other side, let's turn off local symmetry. We're going to go to geometry, modify topology. We're just going to mirror and weld across the X. That's going to put a plane on this side and a plane on this side. However, we're going to need to go in our Z modeler brush, BZM, hover over this face, turn X, make sure X symmetry is off. Go in here to, again, hover over face, hold down space bar, go in here to spin edges, single poly, and we're just going to click this until it's spun the right way. So now we can go in here turn off show placement and now we have two shoulder pads uh, ready to go. Now if we turn on show placement again we have these planes we can hit W we have X symmetry go ahead and turn X symmetry on. Uh, like it said in the instructions if you want you can control drag out a copy of this so we can go through here and like okay just like we did before in the other video we can make elbow pads. Now let's turn on L sim again because if with this off we can, we're going to scale towards and away rolled axis here. Local symmetry will, will rotate on our local axis. Let's turn off show placement because we already know these things are being driven by planes. We don't need to be reminded anymore. We're experts. So then if we want to do knee pads now, we can control drag out, rotate these around, put these on the knees. Again, just grabbing planes, making instances. And the cool thing about this macro is it automatically set it to fit and it put the rotation to negative 90. So like we said before, you can actually scale these non-uniformly so you can make these bigger or smaller. You can scale those planes width and height, and it will uh, modify these on the fly based on that plane placement. And it is nano mesh, so if you want to, you can go through here and you can change the overall size of all of them. You can go through here and even change the overall length of all of them, the overall height. The over you can go through here and change the offsets if you want to, the actual rotations. So you have a lot of control in there, but generally speaking, if you're using this method, probably you're going to leave all these at their defaults. So now that you have all these things placed, you simply have to go in here to Edit Mesh, and now you have the mesh you're sculpting on. So you can go through here and again continue sculpting. You know, maybe 
pull some of this out, go in here with your clay brush. Maybe use your Damien standard to pull out some of this. And as you're doing this, you're automatically updating on the fly in your other instances. And of course, just like we did before, we can hit the comma key, go in here to our brush, IMM. Let's grab a different pair of horns this time. Or you know what, we can just take a disc over here, we can just drag these out, rotate these around, put on a cool pair of goggles, control drag, control drag again. These are all just dynamesh together. So now again, as we're working in the round here, go through here and just update all of these on the fly. If you want to make any changes, just go out of edit mesh, and now you're just back into plain placement mode for your nano mesh. One more thing I should mention is when you want to convert these to real geometry, uh, right now if we turn on show placement again, they're just instance planes. You can go down here to uh, inventory, one to mesh, and that'll turn these into real geometry. You can control shift click all of their plane placements. So here's all their planes here, control shift drag uh, with select rectangle select and then geometry modified topology delete hidden. Alternatively, and you can do this with array meshes too, uh, these are instance meshes, however, you know, if you hit BPR and you render these out, you're going to see this turns into real geometry. So with that knowledge, you can go through here and you can say convert BPR to geo, and now all of these have been converted. So then you can, again, control shift click these planes, control shift drag, geometry modified topology, delete hidden. And now each one of these are their own editable geometry uh, assets.